Um, hi, welcome to uh, this week's vlog um, and uh, it's the last day that Parliament is sitting before the Easter recess. Uh, I'm back in my constituency office in Wales just sort of clearing the desk um, but um, some interesting stuff happened this week. I mean it's um, not always the case that you get to talk about stuff that is unqualified good news but on Monday, uh, the government announced 100 million pounds was going to be made available across the country. Two and a half million pounds of that was coming here to Somerset um, for filling in potholes. Um, and I know that you know, with all the things that are going on in the world right now, with Russia agitating and, uh, and Brexit and all sorts of other things, that filling in potholes on the road might seem to be pretty small beer. But believe me, um, when I go around and knock on doors and when I meet people out and about and when I see the things that people write to me, it is amazing how often the state of our roads um, is the thing that people want to talk about. So two and a half million quid for Somerset to sort of fill in um, some of the worst potholes, many, all of the worst potholes you'd hope, and many more besides, um, particularly those that have been caused as a result of the weather over the winter will be very welcome indeed. Um, and I think that just sort of, uh, start some thinking really about our transport system generally because one of the questions I got asked earlier in the week when I went on TV, um, the BBC were never going to let me go on and just talk about good news, there had to be the sort of the bad, the bad news too um, and they were sort of you know well why will the roads get to that state in the first place and I think the, the bottom line is it's a difficult decision, you've got to make the decision between whether you maintain you know, to put lots and lots of money to make sure the roads that we've got are all like an F1 racetrack, um, or do you spend money on building new roads? The answer is you've got to do both, but let's not forget, whilst everybody's sort of doing the whole all the roads are rubbish thing, um, that near to here there have been lots of roads built that are of huge value to people who live in the Wales constituency. It's not in the Wales constituency, but the new road that connects the A38 down to the A370 um, near Long Ashton in Bristol, or just outside Bristol, is of enormous value to the hundreds, thousands of people who commute from the Wales constituency up into Bristol um, for work every day. And then the new roads down in Taunton as well, you know, are transforming the time that it takes to get from the motorway through. I remember when we were having our second child and, um, and uh, that was all being done down at Musgrave and we're having to go down for the appointments beforehand and then for the birth itself. It's just such a pain in the backside to get from the motorway across to Musgrove Park um, and the new roads in Taunton will make, that will make a real difference for that and for those who are visiting the town for shopping and for those who work in Taunton each day as well. So you know, around the place there are lots of new roads being built but there's the opportunity for more which is why I continue to push very hard for two things really. Um, firstly improvements to the A38 there's a number of sort of road safety issues along the A38 um, between Burnham and sort of the edge of my constituency up near Winscombe. Um, uh, but also the A38 is an important commuter route and very often in the summer when the M5 is closed for an accident, it's also the route that everybody takes to get home from their holidays down in the far southwest. Um, so we need to see some improvement on the A38 and also to plug in the airport better to Somerset and the rest of the, the southwest region. Um, the other road, which is the one that I've been talking about a lot recently, uh, is, um, for want of a better word, the Mendip Expressway. Although I know I shouldn't call it that because it scares people that we're talking about a sort of eight-lane motorway across the Somerset levels. We're not. We're talking about a couple of road improvements that I would really like to see happen around Ashcott, Walton and around the Tor in Glastonbury, just to make it that bit quicker to get from the M5 motorway through to Mendip. And in the process, we'd saw some road safety issues in Walton and Glastonbury too. But the real reason for getting money, I think, for that will be to unlock uh, development potential and also to sort of um, drive economic growth in the Mendip area. And the final sort of transport aim whilst I'm on a roll is that the Department of Transport announced a couple of uh, months ago um, that they were looking at how maybe some of the beaching cuts from the 60s um, could be reversed. And um, one of the conditions that it needed to be where track was still laid, um, but where there was track still laid but not in use for passenger services, maybe there was an opportunity to bring that back into commercial service. Um, and it just so happens that you know, because of the quarries and then the vintage railway, 
we still have track that gets almost all of the way, I think one field away from Shepton. And so just in the back of my mind, and we've had a few conversations with local councillors and, and I've sort of mentioned it very briefly in passing in the DFT um, to see if anybody sort of starts to get excited. But maybe, just maybe, we could start to make the case that commercial railway services could run on that track through to sort of Shepton Mallet again. And I think that would be a great enhancement for our local transport network too. So all those things going on um, and all um, started by two and a half million pounds to fill in some potholes on Somerset's roads. But wouldn't it be great if we could maintain the stuff we've got, but also get some fantastic new infrastructure in place too. Um, that's enough from me. Um, have a great Easter break and I will see you in a week or two's time.